This is Mike Dealey, Easy Swing Ambassador, and I'm here today with uh, Shan Heron, who's an Easy Swing coach, who's asked me to um, watch him hit a few iron shots. I don't know what, what that's all about, but we'll uh, we'll see in a minute. Okay, so go ahead and hit one for me, Shan. That one seemed all right. I can't. I can't see what the problem is. So why are we? Why are we here in the first place? Well, Mike, it was off ah, a tee. Ah. I'm pretty confident hitting the ball off a tee. You know, par threes give me an iron. You really usually hit the green, but when it's off the ground, and especially when it's a little bit wet, like mm. it is today, when the ground's wet, this winter golf, I really struggle to to make good solid contact with my irons. Okay. So some thoughts on how to keep that striking even when the ball's on the ground. Exactly, I would say 90% of the time I am not happy with how I strike my irons when the ball's on the turf. Okay. Uh, certainly the mid to long irons. Here's some thoughts and we'll start as we often do in easier swing with, with a question. So, um, where do we live? Well, I live in Mallorca, you live in England. Okay. Uh, think a little bigger. Where do we live? Uh, Europe. A mm, little bigger. Ah, planet Earth. Yeah, yeah we do. We all live on planet Earth. And what I want to show you first is one of the rules on planet Earth. The rules on planet Earth are gravity. Now, to hit really crisp iron shots, the first thing that you'll need to do is have the ability to graze the ground. And that's basically all you do need to do is simply graze the ground with the golf club. So if you were going to graze the ground and you went into a pro shop and you were looking for a set of clubs to buy to help you graze the ground, do you think you'd buy a heavy set or a light set? A light set. Well, if you had a light set, that club wouldn't be as inclined to fall and brush the ground. So I would say next time you go in, be led more to the heavy clubs. Now you've got an option now. You can either go into the nice pro shop that they've got here and buy a heavy set, or you can find a way to make your current golf club heavier. That's by far the cheaper option. Now, the way that you would do that is I'd like you to find a grip pressure where you can feel a really heavy club head. So if you place your hands on the club at the moment, on a scale of one to 10, one being really light grip and 10 being really tight, what grip pressure would you be using at the moment? Two. Okay, I like the sound of that. So really light. Really light. And you have an awareness of the weight of that yes. club head? Yes, Okay, have a practice swing for me now. And see if you can keep that awareness of the heavy club head as you swing. Very nice. Now that would be a perfect practice swing. Yes. Although the camera might not have caught that, that club literally just grazed the ground. So what we learned from that is heavy golf clubs use gravity. The ball's on the ground. You'll need to make that club head or allow that club head to be heavy so that your club can find the ground. Let's hit a ball. Have a practice swing first of all, Sha. So the task is to feel the weight of the club head and brush the ground. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, that's the task. Just that. Simple as that. Yep. So, practice swing. Yep. Feel the weight. Okay, very nice. If you use that motion at the golf ball, what would happen?
I'll take that. Beautiful shot. <laughs> Two lovely uh, $5 bill divots. What Shan did there that was so good was he had a practice swing and he used that practice swing mm. to sensitize himself to the weight of the club head and mm -hmm. to measure where the ground is. Mm -hmm. Most people who have practice swings do not include the ground in their practice swings. And it's vital that you do if you want to hit crisp iron shots. I love this focus on the club head throughout the golf swing. I found that really, really helped me to hmm. brush yeah, the grass. Shot. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much for that, Mike. Thank okay. you. Those are the rules on planet Earth. Until you move to another planet, you'll need to do that. So I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you uh, like it, uh, please press like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. We have many, many more videos to come and we don't want you to miss them. We don't want you to miss out. Mike, Shan, Easiest Swing. Thanks for watching.